Now that we have everything laid out, we need to get all of our components designed and ready to build. So there are a lot of different specifics you should be looking at when you're actually designing your product or your project here. Um, so like a good one to think of when you're designing something is you have to be realistic. Uh, you know, thinking about an actual design, you can't have the holes too close together, they're gonna splinter. Uh, you have to think of everything on the same scale. You know, you can't have something too big compared to something else. Make sure that everything's on the same scale. Um, think of the best material to use. Um, for a situation, you know, if you have a long extended beam, you know, a piece of wood might be better than using a long piece of steel for material, the strength and the cost of it. Kind of take it into uh, account some of the old videos we've talked about. Another important thing is you have to take into account how you're going to put it together, kind of the, how you're going to manufacture it. Uh, if you're going to have, you know, a leg attached to a chair or something, you have to think about where you're going to screw in the holes, how you're going to screw it in. Um, you know, something along those lines. You can't just magically super glue everything together. It has to be a reliable way of putting it together and you have to take that into account. Building off of what I was talking about for um, how you should uh, design for the manufacturability of your product, you have to think of the design of you know, your, any kind of product, anything with multiple parts integrated into one kind of final end goal. You have to think of uh, the things bottom up instead of top bottom. Meaning that if you have six or seven different parts in a chair or table or something, you should have six or seven different individual designs. Um, for each one of those parts and they fit, they fit together accordingly and you also have to think about how you're going to connect them. You can't just magically put them together. There has to be a system you have to design for it and think about how you're going to put it together, which is a very important element of component design. In conclusion, good component design is key for a smooth manufacturing process. Using the uh, bottom-up method, you ensure all your components are designed well and fit together, which in turn set up a good set of instructions for you to follow while manufacturing. Come on, bust the move, Alex. <laughs> I can change it. <laughs> no, we need some disco, man. I don't know if I should be safety first, guys. There you go. That I wanted to see a move, man. Notice the safety glasses. That's right. That is a key component. <laughs> 